During this entire week, the topic of public figures, content creator, has been in my mind because many times in a row, um, situations like this have popped up and it is regarding to how people treat any person that has a, a higher amount of ta status in social media, whether it's because they are a content creator or anything like that. Hi there, everyone. My name is Saint Kai. And today I'll be discussing just a little bit of my thoughts on what's been going on in my mind when it comes to the case of Gargura. And I can probably involve many other cases. And it is a big coincidence that this week it just so happens to be the premiere of an anime called Hoshi Noko. And I hope I pronounced that well. <laughs> but it just it, it's just a big coincidence that a topic like this is very serious. And I hope more people get more awareness of it. I guess even if it even if the, if there's awareness of this, I am pretty sure that it's going to be extremely difficult for people to get it through their head that your favorite content creator is a person with a life of their own and they can make their own decisions, you know? So why am I saying this? It is because of how people treat content creators sometimes because they tend to have this feeling that they probably know what's best for them. And I'm talking about the ones that presume or assume that they are fans. There may be people out there like misspreading out, spreading misinformation or trying to act as if they are fans. But that is not a fan. Someone who is out there trying to micromanage you, to, uh, uh, talking to you as if you owe them something. It is an extremely dangerous behavior. Not just for yourself, but also to the person who you're talking to. And I'm going to be repeating that word. It's a person, you know, it's not a product, it's not a toy, it's nothing like, uh, it's nothing like that. It's not something for you to manipulate because this happens often. And I mentioned the case of Gargora, but I can even go as far as to mention Chris from Mr. Beast, who recently transitioned and people are saying, oh, what you are doing, it's not f good for the brand. You're not thinking about your friends when they specifically say mention that they did this because it is the, the best for them, for their mental health and is, is self-care. But then there's people out there trying to manipulate everything that they are trying to do. Like, what is it with people trying to get in other people's business? I know it happens all the time. It's not just with content creators, but it has been extremely on my face and on my timeline when it comes to the case of Gargura. And people have gone as far as to compare it to like Oshinoko. I know that it may be, some may do it as a meme, but it has been extremely eye-opening how people have been treating this situation because uh, at the moment, uh, Gargura is one of the top streamers in the world. She may be possibly like the most popular um, Hololife English VTuber at this very moment. And it is a big status. And some people feel that because of that, she needs to have like this a special criteria that she needs to follow specific orders to you know in order to be the best and and it's like you know it is her business she's a streamer she can she can only do so far as she can with uh, because of her health and they say that oh because we have uh, I'm talking about these supposed fans they claim that oh because we got you as big as you are you owe us an explanation for everything that you have done such as you know, not having streamed for a long time. Uh, wh how long does it take for you to explain something like that? Right here, there are some examples of things that people have mentioned. And it's funny that I found this picture right now on Twitter, which explains uh, literally a caption for the anime that says, No one realizes it, but we got our own feelings on lives too. This is pretty much how public figures sometimes are treated. And as much as you want to say, like, oh, yeah, these people have everything. Therefore, they are entitled to give everything to us. No, they are not. They are just trying to, they are just having, you know, the best time of their lives, showing their hobbies and skills. And it just so happened that it took them really far. And, but they don't owe you anything. These people don't owe you jack shit. And you have to respect their wishes when they want to do something like take a break or have you know, self-care for their own personal lives. If it were the case that they may be doing something harmful to themselves, I understand when people would intervene in that case. But if it's like something about, you know, yourself and your own life, then give them some space. They're still people, you know? Well, 
as I mentioned, here are some examples of some posts that I it may it may they may blow your mind exactly how big it is. Like look at this for example. This has been I know that fortune is like you shouldn't take fortune seriously, but this is people actually I've um people actually in like the in Gargoris chat section behaving exactly like this. Like you got this uh, green text post here saying like this. Gura disappearing for weeks at a time, becoming more frequent. Uh, that meaning that, you know, she has taken frequent breaks since last year. When pressed to say something about it, uh, she tweets about fucking garlic bread. I was like, come on, she's just having fun. She just like every like exactly how you would. Like like a regular, you know, just a just chest posting in general. All the top comments on the last VOD is complaints about not streaming. Meaning that people are complaining about it when, when they shouldn't be, you know. She's having, she explained already many times that she's just taking a break for her health. Uh, the word stream and schedule are banned. Rainbow Trident's actually leaving. Going back a few weeks in members' posts, there's a lot of people without badges anymore. Some I remember being Trident's. It's the beginning of the end. People are acting like this is like the end all be all, as if she was going to graduate or something. And if she does, then... It's because she probably needs to. It's not because, you know, and I'm pretty sure that um, Hall Alive as a company does have, not have any issues with it. In fact, they have been very transparent and very nice with how how they're treating Gargura. And that last part about, like, the Trident and all that stuff, it has to do with the subscriptions. If, obviously, it's very common if people are, a, if a content creator is not streaming for a while, um, people that are subscribed to it, those subscriptions end, and all those things, you know, kind of like get lifted off from their profiles. So it's obvious that it's not going to be there. So the reason uh, <laughs> the reason why people are acting like this is because, you know, like I said already, they feel like, oh, Gargura needs to um, demand. They're demanding that um, an explanation for everything. Literally, and it's like, it is the most sickening thing to watch something like this. I know it may look silly, like, you know, just to ignore these fans. But they are so, so many. And like I mentioned earlier, comparing it to another content creator, it's not just with Gargura. It happens with literally every streamer streamer or content creator, a YouTuber, that goes away for a long time. People keep they keep saying that, oh, you owe us an explanation for this and that. And they behave in such uncanny ways. Here are more examples of exactly what I'm talking about, this kind of behavior. These are some uh, direct from, the, from Gargura's last stream. Um, people asking, oh, Gura, please explain to us. Uh, the people have supported you for nearly three years. Uh, they deserve an explanation of what's going on. It's like, come on. Uh, it keeps being, it keeps happening and happening over and over again. I guess it comes with the territory. Maybe this is a minority of people, but they are very loud when it comes to all this stuff. And it is very noticeable because it just keeps happening. Are these fake fans? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure that you, I wouldn't consider this fans if they treat you like this. But at the same time, you know, they may be fans, but they're just a little bit too, too parasocially. They're getting way too personal up, up on these people. Um, <laughs> communicate, Gora. That's the same exact person as last time. Oh, wow. Look who's finally back to streaming. I guess she needs money. That's like, that's hella rude. It's like, it, she specifically mentioned that she was away because of her health. So, yeah. And then this is the last one here. If Gura has issues that prevent her from streaming, she could just tweet about it and inform us. It takes literally seconds. You have no idea. If you say something like this, you have no idea what it means to 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 make a, a, a really tough decision for your mental health, to make posts about taking breaks or just doing sometimes in it may, this happens to literally everyone. This isn't a, I'm, I'm right now what I'm talking about doesn't only apply to streaming. It applies to your life in general. Sometimes we have easy tasks on our hand, but the mental strength that it takes to do is so difficult. And you probably need like the help from someone, or you need time. This is uh something that is like very difficult to understand for some people. I assume I it shouldn't be because you know even it, it, it can even happen to you. Like, have you done that thing that you, you know, it, it can take literally minutes, but you're putting it off for weeks and weeks uh, until you until you probably never do it? You know, well, go check your backlog. People you, you, people are acting also like Gargura is like the only streamer that they can watch. I respect, I, I, I respect the dedication to some fans, 
But come on, there are dozens of hundreds by, you know, by the truckload of VTubers out there that you can probably simp for. Or, you know, just, just literally watch any streamer, any content creator. Finish your game, video game backlog. Do something else with your life. But I guess the reason why I bring this up is for, I don't know, self-awareness. I, I am not like the biggest streamer on the world. In fact, I just started last year. And at the end of this video, I'm going to put my own input and experience on it. While I have begun my journey as a content creator myself, I have experienced little bits of everything that has been represented here. Like the way people try to like, uh, it's not just suggesting to me like video games to play, but almost like demands and reminders to the point that it may seem a little bit uncanny and a little bit annoying if I may say that. Um, and I apologize if that offends anyone who is a a viewer of mine, but uh, I'm 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 always appreciate I always appreciate when people you know care about my streams and all that. But every time that I see like you know constant reminder of like notifications that I need to attend, or oh saying you should do this, you should do that, you should not talk about this, you should not curse, you should behave this way. It's like what are you my manager? And it's like what is going through going on through your head that you're acting like this. Is this just a norm when it comes to VTuber? I was talking to someone and they said, yeah, this is a norm. It shouldn't be. I'm I'm in this for the fun of it. And of course, I want to increase in my own in my own experience so I can just seem a little bit more professional. But in general, you know, that is such a weird thing to do against someone. I'm talking about like a from a from a I've been a fan myself. I understand why, you know, you would care so much about someone's life that you go that far to just, you know, give your own, get your own thoughts about it in such a way. But this is getting out of hand. Please, if you're out there concerned about the, the well-being of your, you know, your favorite public figure, just remember that they are a human being, that they need their own time, respect their privacy. Also, if this, uh, if this public figure is someone out there who has a character persona that they're portrayed, understand the barrier between their reality you know, of their, you know, of their real life and the character that they play. I mention that because, of course, people treat them like, oh, yeah, they are supposed to be this powerful being in real life and I have to believe everything about it. I know that was a little extra. But it'll make sense to some people. So, yeah, that has been in for it for me for today. Um, Saying Kai out, you'll have a nice day.